Now, you know, I'm not the type of life coach that's going to tell you what you want to hear. You evil, man. Your heart not right. I, I know we always want to think that we got people in our best interest, but you evil and you selfish, man. You know, you, when things don't go your way, you play victim. You know, I, I you know, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you fake. I know you paying me. I'm not trying to humiliate you. The only thing I can do is tell you the truth, based on what you're telling me, is that you want everything done your way first, and then you'll give some crumbs to the man. But a lot of these guys are not slow. I know that, I know you think they slow, but a lot of them not slow. Or even if they are slow or weak for your beauty because you got a nice shape, you look nice, you sexy. But some guys out here say, okay, I'm just going to tolerate enough just to get that, just to smash. And then after that, I might smash it. It might smash again, but then they're going to say, they're going to move on to somebody else that's, a less, that's less manipulative and less headache. You know, so, you know, you got these unreasonable expectations in a man, and then when you meet somebody who you think fulfill them, or you think whatever you know you can deal with, they see that you're not that you're kind of delusional. And the years are going by now. You're 35 years old now. The years going by. How how much is your body going to hold up to be able to attract um, these type of guys, the cat, the guys that you want? You're attracting them, but you're not keeping them. Why? Because of your mindset. Not to say that they're perfect, but even imperfect people can notice imperfections in others. You got to understand your imperfection and understand that how you operate and why do you want what you want. Because you think you want what you want for the right reasons. Yeah, you want it, but it don't necessarily mean just because the way you want it that it's not selfish. You know what I mean? You're leaning more towards on your way. You're, you're, you're very, you're indirectly controlling. Yeah. From what I can see, you're indirectly controlling. When somebody first meet you, they're thinking you're very nice. You know, I'm not going to say you evil, but you, you come across very, very nice. You know what I'm saying? But your mind's doing one thing. Your mannerisms say nice, nice, respectful manners. But your actions, it shows that you possibly a high percentage liar. And you'll do anything, you'll say anything to keep the peace. And you're actually judgmental on a very silent level. So you're dealing with guys, you're dealing with guys that you think meet your standards, but eventually your true nature come out, and then they don't like that, and after a while, smashing not even worth it, especially after they already got it, you know, even if it's good, it's, some stuff is just not worth the headache, some stuff is just not worth the headache, yeah. It's just not worth the headache. Yeah. Alexis, you only got a little bit of time. I, I don't want to say you got a little bit of time, but women bodies change rapidly. If you keep choosing, going through this cycle, you, you're putting your, your health at jeopardy, having sex with these different guys. They jamming you and jamming you and jamming you and jamming you. But you look innocent. You come out there, boo buddy, boo boo. You got your nice dress on, your Claire Huxable dress. You got the nice smile, the mannerism, the high, innocent, childlike voice. And you play that to your, you play that to your advantage. <laughs> you know how you sound. You play that to your advantage. Yeah, you know I'm going to tell you the truth. I know you're paying me, but I, I just, I have to tell you the truth in order to help you so you can see the mistake you're making and you change your heart. Once you change your heart, I think you'll be a great person. I think your heart is selfish and controlling. Somehow you got to, I, I don't know if you can change it or if you need to pray to Jesus or what, but you have to self-diagnose your heart.
you know, look in your, put a mirror in, in front of your heart so you can see why do you do the way you, the things you do? Why do you think the way you think? And is it really benefiting both parties or is it just benefiting you? Yeah. No, all guys are not evil. I know tons and tons of guys that are very unselfish and they won't cheat, but they not no fools. Now, even a good guy that don't cheat will cheat will will cheat if you really want to smash a girl, he'll smash her. But he'll leave because he know he can't deal with you. So sometimes people ain't leaving. These guys ain't leaving because they players. They're leaving because you have nothing to offer them other than other than smashing your and your beauty. So I'm just here to let you know, you know, you got to be careful with that because time is not on your side. Unless you're close to God, Jesus, you know, anything possible, but time is not on your side. Hello? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just don't, you know, you just act real nice, and I'm quite sure you only... I can feel that you overlook a lot of good guys, man. And eventually those good guys going to say, man, look, she, it's not worth the hassle. She not what she appeared to be. So many people appear to be one way. Just the same way you're giving off that image that you're innocent and that you're, you know, and that you're the, you're the victim. That's the same thing you're looking at people. The same thing you're giving off is what you're picking up from people. You're giving off a fake image. You're picking up fake. You're attracted to fake images. Because that image that you're looking for, that don't guarantee anybody is, that's having a good heart, that's going to have good health, going to even want what you want out of life. I think you need to concentrate on somebody that want what you want out of life and ask yourself, are you selfish? Are you unselfish enough to get with a man to grow with him and to sacrifice and love him for better and for worse. Not just when he's doing well or, or just because he got enough money and you think y'all going to never go broke. So I love him because I don't think we're going to ever go broke. That's not love. That's based on conditions. And conditional love is fake is a... <laughs> yes, I'm recording you. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to show it on YouTube. It's going to be on YouTube. Well, I got to let the other clients know how, you know, how my how my sessions go, that how real, you know, how I speak. I'm not going to be talking roses to you. I got to give you what you need. And you're living a delusional lifestyle. It's like you... You're living in your head or you read a lot of books, you're living in your head. You're not living in reality. And you're, you're putting yourself in harm's way. You said you want kids and stuff and you don't want to be a baby mama. But if you don't want to be a baby mama, get with a man for the right reasons. You seem to be focused so much on what he do for a living, what school he went to, what area he live in. What he like the way he wear, what he wear to work, and all that crazy stuff. You're worrying about superficial, silly stuff that you, time is going by, and all you getting is a bunch of Willy Wonka. Yeah, you don't want to do yourself like your body like that. If you meet somebody half decent, then he got to deal with all them demons you dealt with, all them other guy, all that energy they shot, all that energy they shot in you. Yeah. Mm hmm No. You you just have to work on your heart. You're selfish. I don't know if you've been like you know, if guys been worshiping you or blew your head up or 
or what, but you got to understand the guys you want got options as well. They might not blow your head up. They might blow your head up temporarily, but they got girls. They're going to meet. After you give them your body, after you have sex with them and get on your knees, you're old to them. They looking at the next best thing or the younger thing. Because there's always somebody else out there that look, they got just as much hips. They got just as much roundness and everything else. Got just as much hips and just as much lips. So, you got to understand that. I don't care how, if the whole world blow your head up. You think you got options, but you really don't got options. You got a bunch of sexual options. You don't have husband options. Don't think, oh, I can get this man. Yeah, you can get in the bed with that man. And there's a bunch of weak men. Yeah, you might even can marry a bunch of weak men. But the real men ain't gonna they gonna see through it. And you can they're not gonna marry you. They just gonna pump and dump. Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, you have to slow your roll. Slow your roll, Alexis. Okay. Well, we'll do a follow-up to on Tuesday. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll message you an hour before I call you. Make sure you're cool. If not, well, you, you, you text me, but I'll, I'll message you. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. <sighs> hey, you folks. It's Alan Williams, the Rillionaire. Just got off the phone with a client. She seemed to be skipping from one hand bone to the next because she's, she's delusional. She's one of them people that was doing good in school, but they, didn't, they started dating late. And then when they started dating, everything is delusional, you know. And she's just starting to get a lot of attention later on in life. She don't know how to handle all this praise and attention, which is causing her to just get, now she's just getting a bunch of, Ham bone. Ham bone. They just boom, boom. Nice looking, nice looking woman. But but she's overlooking good guys because of stupid stuff. Once again, the world operate off superficialism. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with your lifestyle. So they complain later about who you are, but they hurry up and get with you because of your lifestyle. That's the seem the pattern that I seem to do. I coach a hundred people a month. Over, I average a hundred, at least a hundred people a month, and I see the pattern. Mo, you know, with the with the women, with the men, they just they stuck on looks. So it's a it's a, like a match made in hell because the guys are st st complaining about the girls that look good not acting right, and the women are complaining about the guys that with money not acting right. So it's like she want his money, he want her body. So it's a big trick. It's a big trick situation. And only people getting somebody this is the devil. You know what he getting? A big smile. My advice to you as Alan Williams, the billionaire. If you want a consultation, inbox me, email me, r the sixty four at yahoo dot com. If you want a consultation, my advice to you, real quick. Get with somebody that you really can have fun with and get along with. Somebody you can grow with. Somebody you don't mind being around with. If if the world just stop operating on the money, stop stop op operating on these on the circumstances, you don't mind being around this person because they make you feel good. If you ain't have nothing else in the world, that's who you need to get with. Okay, I'm Alan Williams, the billionaire, operating a agape love, not love that's based on conditions that's subject to change. I'm Alan Williams, the Rillionaire. I love you. Remember, Jesus love you more. Rillionaire Nation, we are out.